Burkina Faso's president, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, is a daring and fearless leader who is on a mission to change the fate of his country. He has vowed to make his country more powerful and prosperous by reducing Western influence and forging ties with countries considered adversaries by Western powers. President Traoré's goal is to lead Burkina Faso toward autonomy and strength by maximizing its resources. His intentions to limit Western access to the country's natural resources at a higher cost have raised concerns and drawn comparisons to the fate of Burkina Faso's revolutionary leader, Thomas Sankara. However, President Traoré is going beyond Sankara's plans by challenging and confronting the West. He is forming alliances with powerful friends, and this bold approach has cast him as a genius, fearless leader in Africa. President Traoré's recent engagement with Russia for potential military cooperation has caused unease among Western powers, who are reportedly exploring ways to replace and potentially remove him. Despite this, President Traoré remains steadfast in his commitment to lead Burkina Faso towards self-reliance and prosperity. Recent developments in Burkina Faso have brought to light the country's relations with Moscow following the expulsion of French troops earlier this year. This move has sparked speculation about deepening security cooperation with Russia, perceived as an adversary of the West. By aligning directly with Russia, Burkina Faso is challenging the West and conveying a clear message that it will select allies based on the benefits they offer rather than solely on their position towards the West. The West's tendency to expect that every country will view its adversaries as their own can be traced back to historical and geopolitical factors, as well as the enduring patterns of alliances and partnerships that have defined global politics. Throughout history, Western powers have operated within a framework that emphasizes aligning the interests of like-minded nations, especially during times of global conflicts and power struggles, bolstered by various geopolitical and security alliances, such as NATO and regional defense agreements, which were established to counter perceived threats from opposing ideologies or hostile nations, particularly during the Cold War and beyond. Furthermore, the notion of standing in solidarity against shared adversaries within the West can be linked to the historical legacies of colonialism and imperialism, where European powers aim to expand their influence and dominance in different regions worldwide. This history has significantly influenced the Western viewpoint on international relations, fostering a belief in the necessity of presenting a united front against any potential challenges to their interests and principles. Additionally, the West's anticipation of collective animosity towards its adversaries is reinforced by its own foreign policy goals, which often prioritize safeguarding its strategic interests and security within the global context. Nevertheless, this expectation can pose difficulties for countries that prioritize their own national interests and pursue independent foreign policies that may not necessarily correspond with the West's agenda. It can lead to tensions, disagreements, and conflicts between the West and these countries, particularly when their differing interests and priorities come into play. Now Burkina Faso's move to diversify its alliances is being seen as something inconsistent with the West's policies. The recent meeting between Burkina Faso and the Russian delegation highlighted areas of cooperation, particularly in the military sphere. The discussions involved the training of Burkina Bay officer cadets and officers at various levels, with a focus on pilot training in Russia. Although the official statement did not mention whether Russian military trainers would be sent to Burkina Faso, this development has raised concerns among Western powers regarding potential collaboration in the military sphere. Traditionally, France has established most of Burkina Faso's training institutions and wielded significant influence. With Russia entering the scene, the dynamics are expected to shift. President Ibrahim Traoré's regime has encountered substantial challenges since assuming office in October 2022, mainly grappling with an upsurge in jihadist attacks. These challenges have underscored the necessity for Burkina Faso to explore new partnerships and seek support from countries like Russia. In March, President Traoré acquired weapons and attack helicopters from Russia to aid Burkina Faso's fight against terrorism. The latest military talks revolve around establishing fresh economic and military pacts aimed at reinforcing the mutually beneficial alliance with Russia. Speculations about undisclosed deals facilitating Russia's bypassing of international sanctions, particularly after it diverged from European markets, have also been stirred by these diplomatic discussions. The objective of these talks is to find solutions for Burkina Faso's security and development while reinforcing ties with Russia. 
Burkina Faso's independent foreign policy has manifested through forging ties with Russia, despite initial calls to denounce Russia's involvement in the Ukraine conflict. This decision has made the West nervous, particularly since Burkina Faso expelled French troops in February and terminated an agreement that had granted France the authority to combat armed groups in the country since 2013. During a televised interview, President Traoré stated that the French army's departure did not indicate the end of France as an ally. The situation remains complex and will continue to evolve as Burkina Faso charts its course forward in the face of security threats and geopolitical complexities. Burkina Faso has recently adopted a new policy of engaging with multiple countries instead of aligning with one faction. This approach has led to the establishment of new strategic alliances, one of which is with Russia. In the past, Burkina Faso was heavily influenced by France and missed out on opportunities to establish ties with other non-West countries. However, President Trari's recent statements reflect a new policy that African nations desperately need. He emphasized his country's readiness to work with all nations and expressed satisfaction with the collaboration with Russia. While this move has drawn concerns from Western nations about Russia's increasing influence in the Sahel and neighboring regions, Burkina Faso's military leaders remain focused on their country's interests. They have inked an agreement with Russia to construct a nuclear power plant, which will reinforce the country's power supply and help it achieve its energy goals. Since taking office last year, President Traoré has turned to various other countries for economic and military aid, seeking their backing in addressing critical challenges faced by Burkina Faso. This scenario sheds light on the changing dynamics in global relations and the priorities of African countries in pursuing partnerships that serve their interests. While this agreement has raised concerns in the West about the potential sharing of nuclear secrets, the main goal remains to meet Burkina Faso's energy needs and contribute to regional energy stability. Russia's involvement in nuclear power projects across Africa goes beyond Burkina Faso. The country has been assisting Egypt in building a nuclear power plant, and a similar deal was made with Kenya. Despite progress in energy accessibility in sub-Saharan Africa, the rates of electrification remain low, with over 50% of the population lacking access to electricity. Nuclear power is seen as a potential solution to address this energy shortfall. Besides Russia, President Traoré has established diplomatic relations with North Korea expressing Burkina Faso's interest in acquiring additional weapons. Burkina Faso's military still relies on weapons received from North Korea dating back to 1985, and President Traoré believes that North Korea can play a vital role in enhancing Burkina Faso's security and overall development. Renewing diplomatic ties and potentially engaging in the arms trade with North Korea is seen as a display of Burkina Faso's pursuit of independent alliances, despite opposition from the West. Despite concerns raised in the West, President Traoré remains dedicated to what he believes is best for Burkina Faso's security and development. The consequences of these partnerships and the potential for further cooperation will undoubtedly shape Burkina Faso's direction in the years to come. This agreement marks a significant moment in the relationship between Burkina Faso and North Korea. Burkina Faso's current military leader, Ibrahim Traoré, advocates for strategic alliances with countries such as Russia, Turkey, and North Korea. Traoré emphasizes that Burkina Faso's interests take precedence regardless of the ally or nation involved. The country prioritizes cooperation with those capable of supporting them in their ongoing battle against extremist groups and providing the necessary equipment and assistance. However, it's essential to note that UN Resolution 2270 explicitly prohibits arms trading with North Korea. While the methods by which Burkina Faso intends to import weapons from North Korea are unclear, this step sends a clear message that Burkina Faso asserts its independence and the freedom to choose its own path. African countries like Burkina Faso have the right to shape their foreign policy independently. They have the freedom to choose allies and partnerships based on their national interests. This essence of sovereignty means they are not subject to external influences or control when defining their foreign policy. Traoré's approach challenges the historical pattern of African leaders aligning with the West and prioritizing the West's interests over their own. He aims to make Burkina Faso an independent country with the authority to decide for itself and diversify its alliances. This shift can be seen as a setback to Western arms manufacturers profiting from the global arms trade. 
After seizing power through a coup about a year ago, Troeri announced that elections were no longer the top priority compared to the urgent issue of security. He plans to amend the country's constitution to better represent the interests of the masses. While Troeri's approach may be seen as controversial, it highlights Burkina Faso's desire for independence and self-determination. Traoré emphasizes that security is of utmost concern for Burkina Faso due to ongoing jihadist violence. Initially, Traoré aimed to strengthen security within two to three months of taking office. However, a year later, the country continues to grapple with jihadist attacks, emphasizing the importance of addressing security challenges. Traoré's long-term plans involve making his country economically robust in Africa so that presidents do not have to rely on selling their loyalty to the West. He wants to tackle the paradox of Africa's richness in natural resources, but enduring economic poverty. Africa possesses approximately 30% of the world's mineral reserves and 40% of its gold. However, it remains one of the poorest continents. This dilemma is known as the resource curse, where countries rich in natural resources tend to perform poorly. Now Abraham Traore plans to change the very habit the West has been preserving for decades. The perception of non-Western leaders as threats when they gain power is deeply embedded in the historical context of global power dynamics and international relations. The global system, largely influenced by the actions and interests of dominant Western nations, has historically favored a specific global structure that serves Western economic, political, and strategic goals. Consequently, Leaders from non-Western countries who challenge this structure or strive for their own independent paths often encounter opposition and hostility from Western powers. A crucial aspect of this argument revolves around the concept of threat perception. Non-Western leaders who exhibit strong independence, challenge Western supremacy, or pursue policies that diverge from Western interests are frequently viewed as potential threats to the existing global order. Throughout history, Western powers have utilized various means to destabilize non-Western leaders and governments that did not align with their interests. These methods have included imposing economic sanctions, diplomatic isolation, and political pressure. In more extreme cases, military interventions, covered operations, or support for opposition movements have been used to remove leaders from power. However, such interventions have often resulted in prolonged instability, conflict, and humanitarian crises in the affected regions. They have also hindered the development and self-determination of these nations, perpetuating a cycle of violence and political upheaval that continues to impact these regions to this day. Captain Traoré of Burkina Faso is emerging as a leader who is challenging the Western powers by forging strong connections with influential non-Western figures like Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un. This diversification of partnerships not only enhances his geopolitical stature, but also fortifies Burkina Faso's ability to negotiate and pursue independent foreign policies that may diverge from Western interests. The emergence of influential non-Western powers like Russia and North Korea has introduced a new dimension to the global power structure, opening up possibilities for alliances that can potentially contest Western supremacy. By forming alliances with notable figures like Putin and Kim Jong-un, Captain Traoré can tap into alternative networks of political and economic support, creating a counterbalance to Western influence and authority. Moreover, partnering with influential non-Western leaders can provide access to resources, technological advancements, and military backing that may not be readily accessible through conventional Western channels. This increased access can bolster Burkina Faso's economic progress, technological growth, and national security. Consequently, decreasing dependence on Western aid and potentially reducing Western influence within the region. Captain Ibrahim Traoré's friendship with Vladimir Putin and possible closer cooperation with North Korea's Kim Jong-un is a testament to his strategic vision and diplomatic acumen. Such alliances provide Burkina Faso with strategic and diplomatic leverage on the world stage, offering an alternative to Western influence and authority. In the event of any Western attempts to destabilize or remove Traoré from power, it is likely that Putin and Kim Jong-un would offer their support, creating a formidable challenge to Western powers. Overall, Captain Ibrahim Traoré's ability to establish and maintain solid ties with powerful non-Western leaders is a sign of his astute leadership qualities and his commitment to the development and self-determination of his nation. His actions challenge the Western powers to be comfortable with independent and non-manipulatable leaders, 
and to recognize the importance of diversifying partnerships in the increasingly complex global power structure.